Hi, so today I'm going to give you a crash course in reading an audiogram. An audiogram is a visual representation of a person's hearing loss created from a hearing test. As you can see here, the intensity or loudness is measured on the side and the frequency or pitch is measured on the bottom. The colors on this audiogram represent different levels of intensity that correspond to different types of hearing loss. Hearing thresholds below 20 decibels are in the normal hearing range. From 20 to 40 decibels, they're in the mild range. From 40 to 55, a moderate hearing loss. From 55 to 70, moderate to severe. 70 to 90, severe. And 90 and above is profound. The symbols used in the audiogram will correspond to the type of test and the ear that's being tested. Air conduction tests are the ones with headphones or ear inserts. One easy way to remember the symbol for the right ear for unmasked is to think right, red, and round. Phone conduction tests use an oscillator that's placed behind the ear and transmits the sound directly to the inner ear. The symbols are posted there. For younger children who can't sit with headphones or the oscillator, Sounds are played over a speaker into the booth, and the S symbol signifies this on the audiogram. One tool that I found for help understanding audiograms is the Starkey Hearing Loss Simulator. Not only does the Starkey Hearing Loss Simulator provide canned sounds that you can test a particular hearing loss with, you can also record your own sounds and see what they would sound like. You can also access all different types of audiogram. By choosing audiograms that closely resemble the audiograms that you're interpreting, you can get an idea of what a particular hearing loss might sound like and what certain sounds would sound like with that hearing loss. As a final note, it's really important to remember that the audiogram isn't a predictor of performance. Two different individuals could have the same audiogram results and the same hearing loss and still perform differently. So while it is really important to understand how to read an audiogram and what it means, 